Do as you're told, and it won't be as bad as you think, okay? How old are you? I'm 14. How long have you been doing this for? Since I was eight. Oh, just really, really intense stuff right there. And that is the theme of this. The new Ring of Silence shines a light on the epidemic of human trafficking and explores the ways that it could be taking place in plain sight. We have writer and director Nicole Bowers Wallace here, along with one of the lead actors. I, I promise you should like him in real life. In the movie, he does a fantastic job of shedding light on the dark side of this. Brian J. O'Donnell, who's actually from the area. Good morning, guys. Yes, good, good morning. morning. Thank, thank you, you for inviting me. Yeah, thank, thank you all for being here. This is certainly a tough topic, but but it's a movie that every parent, every adult, every child, <clears throat> excuse me, every child, everyone really needs to watch this because you're bringing awareness to human trafficking. Absolutely, absolutely. I th when I started this project two years ago, I think we were hearing a little bit about it, but I personally did not know a lot about sex trafficking. Uh, I thought it was something that was happening, happening overseas. I thought it was, you know, a van driving down the street, picking up a child on yeah. the side of the road. Um, but after doing research and speaking with the FBI and victims and and my own research online, I knew I had to do this movie. It yeah. is such a huge prevalent issue in America. So Nicole, uh, Brian, before we get to you, Nicole, is it true that you were approached by four human trafficking advocates yes. that kind of shed light on this, that made you realize this is a calling, I should, I should direct a movie like this? Yes, four women asked me to look into this and think about you know, taking on this project. And uh, once I understood how this was happening, absolutely, I wanted to, to make sure we got this message out to parents and teens. Yeah, and um, Brian, you certainly did a good job because a lot of people reacted to him. I want to not like him. Kind of in a negative <laughs> way, just because you play the antagonist in the movie, but you're a local from Frankfurt, Illinois. Yep. And when you read the script and you saw this character that you were going to be acting out, what did you do to prepare yourself for this bad guy role? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a definite duality. You know, you start as the good guy, and then you gotta kind of go into the descent of the bad guy. And uh, it's such a, a sensitive, yeah. important topic. You want to be really faithful to the to, to everything and to the victims that are going through it. So definitely, a lot of research and a lot of preparation went into it. Uh, we had a litany of resources, starting from uh, task forces, police officers, actual victims themselves. So I just kind of tried to envelop myself in the entire uh, situation to know as much as possible. So I gotta admit, I'm wholly ignorant to a lot of this, which sounds like you admit, Nicole, you were in the beginning before they shed light on this to you. Brian, you play a high school student. Majority of people in this are high school students. Yes. Is that typically the target age for this? Is it younger typically? Is The average is age is 12 to 17. Wow. Okay. Um, but I think when you understand through this movie that the internet has opened up a huge, you know, um, avenue for yeah. predators. Mm. Scary. So that 12 to 17, you know, age range with their phones and their access has really made a uh, huge impact. I like to think of myself somewhat versed on this topic, but one thing that you all pointed out is that a lot of times the predator will really work to build a relationship with the victim. And it could take months, even years, before they actually act on taking your child out of where their, their community would be, out of their home and putting them into a negative situation. Yes, that was a big surprise to me. Yeah. So there is like a courting process, which can be somewhere around six the months or more. Courting process. Yes. Where this, the victim will learn to fall, they'll fall in love, they'll be dependent, they'll create a relationship, and then all of a sudden the switch will happen. That's something that I think parents and just people in the community don't necessarily realize, because like you said, you think it'll be someone that's going to just snatch your child up at some point in time, or a new person that you may know a few weeks, but it could really go even farther than that. Absolutely. Yeah. Brian, what was your biggest takeaway playing a role in this movie? What, did, what was your biggest takeaway from the theme? Uh, just as Nicole was just saying, the uh, the proliferation of, of social media and the access that, that kids have nowadays to each other and, and to people that they really don't know. I mean, when I was growing up, you know, stranger danger, don't really talk to anybody you don't know in person, but... You know, the internet wasn't a thing to worry about. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Now it's you're crazy. on Tinder trying to meet people and they could really be whoever they want to yeah. be. So it's, it's definitely an eye-opener and... Uh, a situation where you really have to be careful. Yeah, well, as a community member, I have to say thank you to both of Absolutely. you all. This is a tough all topic, right. parents and teenagers at home, and this is a very good jumping off point to start a conversation that could save your child's life. The Ring of Silence will be available on Amazon.com starting this Friday.